Hey guys, I have decided to do a bunch of short-term type videos called tips, tricks, and tools where I do some quick information, easily digestible, get in, get out, get your information, and move on with your day. So uh, we're going to start out here with some electrical. I'm going to do a lot on electrical. I'm going to do some on fabrication, then rust repair, and air conditioning, and all sorts of stuff. Show you guys cool tools, things that make your life easier. So today is a really simple one. We have this 1953 Lincoln Capri uh, dashboard here. We're converting it to 12 volts. We're doing a lot of stuff. We're rewiring this whole car. Um, so we have a light switch here. We have a bunch of light bulbs, high beam indicator, left blinker, right blinker. And this dash just has everything built into this. So there's like 15 lights on here. Not really that many, but that's what it feels like to me. Now, these lights are in decent shape. Connectors are in decent shape. Uh, all I have to do is change the bulbs out to 12 volt bulbs, easily to find. Uh, these connectors aren't a special um, size or anything like that, typical Ford, but they're in decent shape and I wanna reuse them. Sometimes we go for budget friendly ideas, not just this, but when we're looking at the whole picture of the car, um, this is something that's not gonna cause an issue. So we have these wires here that are in moderate shape. We have these connectors that are in really good shape. All the connections on the inside look nice and clean. So we're gonna reuse these and not have to buy this and this and this and that and a bunch of million other things on this car. So instead of onesie and twosie, we're gonna use what we have. Now, what you're going to do or what you'd like to do if you're gonna reuse something like this is protect the wire from the steel housing. This is where issues uh, end up. This kind of stuff, just rubbing. I mean, a car idling, car running down the highway, there's vibrations on everything inside the car, especially these old cars. So I don't want these two pieces, the, the wire and the steel to vibrate together. So I'm simply just gonna throw some shrink wrap in there, shrink it down to it fits inside the housing and push it up inside the housing a little ways. So when this is vibrating, we're not vibrating on this older wire, which is actually still in decent shape. Um, it's cloth over rubber. So that means it's not original. If it was strictly cloth, it would be original. So this is okay to reuse. And I am just going to crimp my wire somewhere shorter, not this whole piece I'm not gonna use, but a really short area right there. I'll crimp a new wire onto it. And we can reuse these, like I said, we're just changing this out um, to 12 volt bulbs. So just be careful and keep in mind these little rub points when you guys are rewiring your cars. So simple, easy, quick information. Also, since these lights don't have a ground wire, they're grounding through the housing. So what we wanna do is make sure these connections here are nice and clean. I'm gonna get a little bit of piece of sandpaper and just quickly run this connection here and rub it right here where it actually touches inside there. So these two pieces have a good electrical connection. Then I'm going to add something that this car didn't have. I'm putting this ground wire here and this is how I'm gonna route uh, my harness once I make all these wires for this. And I'm gonna have a plug in right here on the end. So this whole dash is gonna plug in and out really easily like it didn't do when I took it out. So I have a nice clean ground here. It's gonna ground this whole dash. This dash originally ground through these clamps like this. This dash wasn't even bolted to the steel. It just bolted clamps on and the clamps pushed against the face and held the face in. So really it's not even a bolt on application. It's a clamped on application. And we're hoping that we're gonna have a good ground connection for all of these lights on here. Well, now I know we will. I like to do things where I 100% can have control of every electrical circuit and this is how I accomplish that, is by putting grounds where they didn't used to be grounds. Simple stuff like this, guys, uh, will just make your wiring way more reliable. So clean all your grounds up, clean all your connections up, even for a light bulb, because you definitely don't want to take this whole dash apart. Just to get to a light bulb, you can't reach because where it's at on the column. Most of the stuff in here, guys, this, this car, this 53 Lincoln Capri, this dash was actually fairly hard to get out, and I couldn't reach a lot of these bolts up here. Uh, I sweated a lot to get those out, let's just say that. So we don't wanna change these bulbs out for a very long time. All fresh new bulbs, good grounds, good connections. And that, hopefully, I don't talk too much because that's one of the things I'm bad at. So nice, quick, easy videos for you guys. See you next time.